This is about health care accessibility, life expectancy, joblessness, and hunger. No, this isn't a problem that's unique to Chicago. We're seeing this manifest in large urban areas with large black populations all over the United States. Milwaukee, Cleveland, Detroit, and other places are experiencing the same thing. But we are going to step up and do something about it. And as we see from these maps, the numbers are weighted more heavily on the south and the west sides. And among our most economically vulnerable communities, as such, many of these same communities suffer from an array of pre-existing health conditions which make them particularly vulnerable to this virus. We know that due to some of the economic barriers in communities, social distancing can be difficult, if not impossible, to achieve at home, on public transit, and essential businesses like grocery and corner stores, and we must solve that too. Our challenge right now is to immediately address this issue. We can and we will organize a rapid, coordinated, community-based and community-driven response to what we are seeing so that we can mitigate the impact of COVID-19 in our city and particularly as it is playing out and devastating black Chicago. First, we must begin with the data. While we have sufficient data to see that these trends are alarming, as Dr. already noted, healthcare providers are still not providing total demographic information that is needed for us to have a complete picture of the impact. That must change. That's why Dr. Already will issue the COVID patient data um, health order. This will require healthcare providers to collect and give Chicago's Department of Public Health a complete suite of demographic information including race and ethnicity for each COVID-19 patient that they test or treat. This is not negotiable. We must understand the magnitude of the impact of this virus on all of our communities, and it is up to the healthcare providers who are on the front lines not to skip over the boxes that provide us with the demographic information that's essential for us to understand the impact on black and brown communities. You must do this. And the outreach will focus on those over 50 and those with underlying health conditions. And the supports will include symptom monitoring, testing, and proactive health care engagement. And finally, we will institute a suite of policies um, to directly impact the most at risk communities and address day to day challenges. We have to do this in connection with all of the other things that we're doing to emphasize and enforce the stay at home order. This will include, in a, again, hyper local matter, make sure that we're increasing our surveillance of CTA bus routes across the city and adding larger and additional buses to promote social distancing and reduce overcrowding where needed. The CTA has stepped up to do this and we will continue to move forward in that direction. It will also include taking steps to strengthen social distancing in our grocery stores and corner stores. We've heard reports across the city, particularly on the south side, where some retailers are not uh, advancing social distancing as they must. We are sending inspectors out. We will demand that you do this. And if you do not, we will shut you down. This will increase, in, involve increased education enforcement from our Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection. We are serious about this. We have to move forward together as a community, every aspect. Nothing can be spared. We all have to be in on it. We have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to enforce these orders. We can't simply stand by unless this disease wreak havoc in our communities. Lives are truly at stake.